Well, when it comes to preparing school lunches, you want them to be nutritious, you want them to be eaten, and you eventually want kids to do it themselves. So here to help us out, registered nutritionist Leanne Phillipson. <laughs> I've said this before on the show, lunches are not my favorite thing to make, and I'm happy we're going to be making the transition during this segment of getting your kids to do them yourself. That's themselves. ideal, isn't right. it? Because as soon as they start from school and then when they're getting older, what they're going to eat and what they want to have are gonna, is going to change a lot Absolutely. throughout the years. So let's start here with kindy. Yes. So these need to be really easy to open containers. Yeah. We want them to be able to get into the lunch to mm -hmm. even be able to do that. What I actually suggest is as you're going into the school year, no matter what age your child is, write down all the lunches that you make in the first two weeks, three weeks, because you're pretty inspired. You've got some yeah. great ideas. And then when it's December, January, and you can't think of anything at all, yeah. pull that piece of paper, paper out. Yes. And then you're like, oh, I remember when you did that. Oh, and you like that too. And then right. off you go and you carry on. So remember when you were trying to be super mom on the first <laughs> day back right. to school? Yeah. And then week three comes along I and know. you're already looking I, I, at the processed cheese? <laughs> so go back to that list from and the I first say, day of I school. I say by December. It could actually be by October. It could be by October. <laughs> like before, I can't think of anything. <laughs> Thing already. So here we've got just some really fantastic containers. This one here I love because it actually even has the protein in there. Yes. You need to get the carbs in there, the fruits and things like that. So the kids are starting to learn that there's a process to what is going into the lunch. Mm -hmm. Always have to have some fruits and vegetables. They have to have some really easy to eat snacks. Color, make it vibrant and colorful. Right. But the kind of the finger foods for the kindies is good because they've got people next to them. They've yes. got their friends, they've got the little chats. They only have 20 minutes or half an hour to really do this. Mm -hmm. So you've got to make it really simple for them to do that. And you're not overpacking. I mean, I used to feel Please like don't. I had to give them all the food Please because don't. that's how we feel. But they don't have a lot of time and they're slow. They're slow. They don't look at a meal the way I look at a meal. And they may not be hungry. That, exactly. I get in there. Yes. They're and like, oh, I'd rather chat. That's right. right? And, and they may not... You know, they may not realize that they're hungry during the day because there's so much going on. Yeah, when you excited. get them from after school and they're like, <gasps> starving. Eat, 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 eat. Right. So um, make sure you've got some snacks as well for, for taking out into the schoolyard for recess if that's if that's what we're doing right. um, for them. Now, this is for sort of the grade three to six-ish yeah. um, where you want to go. This is when I actually suggest you start giving them a survey. Give it to any child. Okay. So this is available on SpurtRight.com for download. So this is a survey so your kids can fill it out, send along a marker or a pen or something like that, have them scribble in what they, what they had because at the end of the day, first of all, how was school? Fine. Yeah. How was your lunch? Good. It's all right. So if you can get that feedback from them, just ask them to scribble it, scribble it out. So it's another fun thing to get them involved. So they're going to judge the lunch I make them? Is they that are. what's happening here? They are because when it comes home full and yeah. they haven't eaten anything, okay. then you've got some feedback. I get it. You don't like cucumbers. And then you move on to something else. Okay. So let's say in this box here, this is more like have some breakfast for lunch. So I've got That's some good. pancakes, ricotta, some beautiful, uh, vibrant foods, fruits, and then also some protein from that little egg put oh, in there. Egg. That right? is so good. This is so good because there's so many things you can't pack in the lunches now. It, is, it gets really, really tricky. It really tricky. gets tricky. So you've got protein. Always have a protein source in have all of to. the lunches, and that's really important for yes. your brain. So love these uh, little containers here, these um, Ziploc type of, oh, type of things, yeah. where you put in the quesadillas. So again, those type of things, the kids can just start to be having input and starting to make a little bit themselves. Right. Because by the time you get to grade seven and eight, yeah. they're really involved. If they're not already making their their lunches, yeah. this is it. So time is up, again, kids. Seventh and eighth grade, I you're have, making your lunch. I have a planner which can you know put your child's name in there. Yeah. You've got a plate down the bottom here to guide on fruits and veggies go on half the plate or the container mm -hmm. or whatever it is. A quarter is uh, your carbs and then the rest is the protein. Mm -hmm. And then they're planning, so you can use this in the beginning, like I said or you can just get them to fill it up. Oh, I really like that. Yeah. So then on Thursday, they can, they, can, they can write it out and maybe Friday is your day to make that kind of thing. So here we've got, again, more snacky type of things. This is so easy for kids to throw together for right. themselves. It's not difficult at all. I find also that kids love snacks. 
You know, they, they want seven million snacks and they yes. never want a meal. No, so if don't. you get the bento boxes, it's all snacky. All snacky. Finally snacky. for high school kids. So uh, they're on their own and they're doing stuff that might be able to be microwaved. Exactly. Uh, because they have access to yes. that now. So make sure your containers, they can take this out. So here I've got some leftover butter chicken and rice. Ooh, Just take that. that right out, put it in the microwave, have it with their dip. They're good yeah. to go. Pizza that they absolutely love, pack it full of vegetables. Mm -hmm. And then if they're really into their sports and all of those kind of things, get a good insulated container yeah. so that they can go in there and stay cool. Really good tips. Really I'm going to take pictures of all this stuff so I remember. That's right. And the second week of you're September. You're having this for lunch for the first week. Thank you, Leanne. My pleasure.